everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. It is finally time that I can show you when I stamp something the inside of the catalog and when you look down underneath the video or over on my website I'll be able to show you the shopping list because the catalog is now live. Um, and in addition to this catalog being live um, during August and September um, you can select free items with your purchase as part of celebration. So before I get going with the project, which is super quick today, um, I want to remind you that August 6th is the last day that you can sign up for my online um, Peaceful Cabin class. So I do have these two tutorials posted on my YouTube channel, so you can check those out. They are not going to be included in the class, but once you have the bundle, then you'd be able to replicate them. Um, this one we colored with blends. This one is um, super simple. There's no coloring at all. In the actual online class, um, there's different ways you can participate. You can get the full entire kit that includes the stamps, the dyes, um, clear embossing powder, blending brushes. Um, I don't remember everything that's in it, but that's the technique that we're doing. And then the cardstock and um, um, things like that that you'll need for the four projects that we'll make, including the videos. Or you can just get the cardstock supplies for the cards and the videos, or you can just get the videos. But that does close on August 6th. So if you want to take that class, um, you need to sign up for that. And then opening later this week will be my um, Penguin Place class. Again, these are not cards that we will make in the class. You only get to see those when you're when you get the videos or any of the class options. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have not opened this yet as of the day this video posts, but by the end of the week it will be up. And again, my registrations aren't lasting as long as they used to because back orders have been an issue. And so um, I want to reserve the right to close them. So I'm hoping to keep them up the registration's open for like 10 days, but it may turn out that sometimes they're taken down before that. So if you're interested in a class, I would highly recommend that when I open it, you sign up um, and then you're sure to get in it. So today I'm going to use the set that is kind of featured here on the front of the catalog. This paper is beautiful. I am in the limbo part. I did place a really large order to get all of the extra supplies that I need to finish off my Triad Club cards. But I've cut all of the designer series paper that I had um, for my Triad class that is going to ship out later this week. So until I get my order in, um, I'm like some of you. So I don't have a lot of this stuff right now because it's all been cut up and I'm waiting for new to come. But that's okay because this, I'm going to use the Christmas season set and it is fabulous. Um, so this card, um, when I use the set, you're going to see just how amazing it is. I also don't have any of these because I um, started putting them in the embellishment kits. These are so, so pretty. And when I get more of them in, I will do a card with those and with this beautiful, beautiful die set here. But for now, we're just going to use the stamps and we're going to remember what drew us to our love of stamping in the first place. So it's called the Christmas season. And I want to show you because in a minute when I make the card, you're going to think I used all the stamps in the set because the card is beautiful and it's full. But look, there's still this many that I haven't even used. So it is a bundle, but I'm not going to use the dies that come with. I shouldn't have shut it because I don't have the dies laying here. And I always feel like it's the first set in here, but it's not. I don't know why I think it, I guess because it's on the the um, front of the catalog. So you can see it comes with um, these dies here. I think they're called the seasonal labels. <clears throat> so we are going to use this label here. It does come with a bunch of labels. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is giant. Um, I'm going to use it. It's sitting here. I'm going to use it on a celebration card that will post I don't know what order these are going to post in. So you may have already seen it or you will see it soon if it hasn't posted yet. Depends on just depends on what order these go up on YouTube. Um, but the labels in this are fabulous. So this is a great little bundle. And it doesn't have to be for Christmas. It's very nature. If you take those um, holly leaves out, the rest of it could be really any time. It gives that feel of that forever green reset um, that we had a couple of years ago. But um, you take these two out. See? And you could do these berries any color if they're not holly, if they're not red, and you really have any, a season set. <laughs> it can be all four seasons. And then I am going to combine it with the four end to us, which was in the catalog last year, last Christmas. Um, I love it, and it's a returning favorite. So I'm going to use that because obviously this set has no words. Now, if you get the super sweet, um, it does, the other set is all words. 
So here's my story from Christmas last year. Um, if you're self-employed like me, then you know that sometimes your life is very, 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 very planned. Um, and we don't have anybody to step in for us when things don't go the way that we want them to go, right? Um, but that's okay because most of my plan planning goes pretty well. I'm a pretty good planner. Um, but last November, I had it all planned. And, you know, January is another new catalog time for us. So I had a try it class coming up. I had lots all the things. Um, we host Thanksgiving. So I pretty much had, like, life plan through December, and then I kind of take that last little bit of December off. Um, and then I got COVID, and I got it pretty bad. I'd had it once before COVID was supposedly in the United States, and my doctor had told me at the time I didn't have COVID, but you know, the mysterious thing that um, I had was, not only was I sick with what he told me was the flu at the time, but I lost all, all, all taste and smell which nobody knew that was a COVID thing at that time. And it was just weird because I'd never lost taste and smell. So the second time now, I think that I probably had the Delta, even though they say it wasn't here because the symptoms were different, but I was down and out for about three weeks. So best laid plans when you're a stamper and you want to make your cards. Like when my downtime came, I wanted to enjoy making Christmas cards and I didn't really make any because I was sick. And really the only thing that was wrong with me the second time was I had a fever, but I had a really high fever and there was no making of any Christmas cards. Um, so my husband works at a hospital. So, you know, it's not like we were out and about on the town, um, living it up mask free or anything, but my husband does work in a hospital. So, you know, frontline workers it is what it is. So this kind of card, look, this is the ingredients that we are using to make this card. So when it gets to be November and you don't have a design yet and you don't have a lot of stuff to choose from, this is perfect, but it's super trendy. We have a couple of little gift shops. In fact, it was one of the last places I went before I was down and out for the count. Um, and they have a line of, they have it all year round, but their Christmas stuff, this just looks like all the stuff they had. So I'm gonna start with the largest stamp and or the larger they're all kind of big the ones i chose for this card there are smaller ones in there and i'm going to kind of work out and i'm going to fill this whole paper um and if you saw my um video where i did the shaded summer dyes there's my ink refill because i still need to smash it in here my garden green was dry as a rock so i'm going to do these holly berries and now that i've done it once i realize i need to like spread these out you can see how much better, if you saw the other video, how much better this is stamping now that it's had some ink seep into it. So let's do those two in garden green. And when you've got your ink refill from painting, if you didn't see that video, it helps if you set it like this, so that can start to drip in there. So that's how that's been sitting. Now we'll go to the next largest, which would be our pine cone, and it's a two-step stamp. So I'm gonna do cinnamon cider, but just imagine, See my, my, I, cause I do love to stamp, but it's my job. So sometimes I don't get to stamp as often as I want for joy. So my idea of fun is, you know, put on some Christmas music, sit by the decorated tree. So, you know, you have to do that after you've put your tree up and we always do that after Thanksgiving um, and make my Christmas cards, which is why I leave it. Well, I'm busy up into that point too, till December. But then when you leave it and you're sick, and then it just means nobody gets a Christmas card. And I felt super bad because I send them to customers. So everybody's like, well, you know, she's festive. Because I didn't even answer the phone. I didn't answer emails. I didn't put in orders. Thankfully, my daughter stepped in and she did a lot of that for me. So there's our beautiful two-stepped um, pine cone. So I did those in cinnamon cider and early espresso. And then let's go to... Is this the only leaf? Yeah. There's um, several of these, and these are super pretty, and these are the ones that really remind me of that pattern that they have. I could probably do one more now that I've spread the design out, but we'll make it work. And this is, I started to say it's jade, but it's not. It's the new, I think it's succulent, yeah. So I'm just going to kind of fill these in here can see that my tag is going to go there so just kind of leaving that space a little free for the tag so 
that looks good. And then we are going to do the holly berries. And these are gonna add that nice pop of color because right now it's just kind of nature-ish. So you can see how the rest of the year, you take those out and add the other leaves, even in that same color, and you just have a real fun nature card. Again, like that, if you were a fan of the Forever Fern, or Forever Green Reset, how easy is this? So, um, I don't want to jinx myself, but I have visions of me <laughs> sitting by our um, decorated tree in November, and mm, I don't want to overkill it. They're just fun to stamp, but I don't want to overdo it. Um, making these cards with the Christmas music on, and a, you know, a, a lovely little flavored coffee there, but you know, best laid plans and everything. So you can see this is gonna fit on the top of this. So now let's go to, I have this little scrap, and I am going to pull out, um, I have a saying from the foreign to us that says Christmas begins with Christ. I'm just gonna do it in black. there. And then grab that label from the dies that go with this set. And so this is, um, there may have been a smaller one that fit more perfectly, but this one was on my table. And my table is a mess and I am trying to do, so we're going on vacation next week. I'm going to try to do eight videos today. I've done one already, um, but I'm going to try to get the peach Peach dyes are on their way to my house, so if you're in the peach class, I'm going to try to get that done. I'm going to try to make a dent in the Try It class, and I am trying to um, get all of the things that I have here, so I have some videos for this week, and then get a head start on how, so I have at least a couple of you for you next week while we are on vacation. So I have it all stacked up on the edges of my table, and this one was already laying here, and I knew it went with the set, and sometimes, you know... You don't have the exact right size, but that's okay. Because you can see it's a little big. Although this time, it's part of the reason why I needed to spread my design out on my last card. And this one's going to be a little bit different already because I've already done a couple of changes. So this one actually fits okay. So I might leave it. And I might change a couple of... We'll leave it. On the other one, I'm going to show you what I did because I smushed all this in here. And it didn't need to be smushed. I'm going to take my red. This is the um, light red blend. And take my bullet tip just because I just want to color this tiny bit little here. Where it says with. There's a tiny little banner. Listen to that. It's all the cicadas because it's August in Indiana. So that's our noise. That's our summer noise. Um, and I'm making a Christmas card. The windows are open. I think it's the last day we get to have the windows open before we have to close them. And then I'm going to grab my succulent. I'm just gonna kinda color a little bit of this, just kinda random over the top of those so that they match the card. And you don't want a lot of these, just enough to kinda fill this white space in. And then this is the red scalloped ribbon that is in the um, holiday catalog. I don't remember what suite it goes with. If I filmed my try it class, then I would remember. That's the one thing I like about filming that class. Does it go with the suite? No. This one has cherry cobbler ribbon. So I'm just gonna cut this. So I'm just gonna do a little U like this. Stick that on. Grab some dimensionals. Get two on the ends of that, and that makes sure that it doesn't come off, especially on a Christmas card, because you know, a lot of times with a Christmas card, you're making 10, 20, I know some of you make 100, 200. So before they ever make it to an envelope, they're stacked up, and you don't want your ribbon falling off while it's all sitting there. So I'm gonna put this there. I'm not gonna add that. I think there's enough red on it without it. And then you're just gonna add four of these. Now, if you do Christmas cards and you're doing an assembly line, this process right here is great for your children or your husband or somebody that's sitting watching TV. As you are doing the more artistic part, let them be the dimensional putter on her and 
backer taker offer. Especially if you're sending them to their side of the family as well. Now, for the um, embellishments for this, uh, there are uh, there as probably half of the ones in the catalog will work, um, holiday and regular. So the red rhinestones, obviously a great choice. The clear and silver epoxy, fabulous choice. Um, there, I the options were endless. But for those of you that are getting my thank you gift that we'll mail out later this week, you're getting the um, from last month's purchases. You're getting the Genial Gems. So I wanted to show you that even though that these are mint and I didn't use mint, you could obviously as one of the greens, but I thought they looked great on here. Um, so I'm going to stick, this tag is bigger and I'll show you in a second. I did end up putting five because it's a Christmas card. So it deserves all the glitz we can give it. So let's put three of the gold. So these are clear with gold accents. And then we have these ones that have the, the mint with the gold accents. And you can see we don't have mint, but it's just one more shade of green on the card. So on this one, I um, have espresso on top of my cinnamon cider. My first choice was suede and it didn't pop quite as much as I wanted. And here's the full size tag because I pulled all this out more. So when you're making your Christmas cards, sometimes your first one's like, eh, that wasn't what I wanted. Um, so on this one, I was able to kind of do it a little bit more. What was in my head? Um, and you're gonna see it in a second, but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with this. And I would, but by all means, certainly still send it. So let me show you the differences. Um, on the tag, because this is pulled in a little bit more, I've taken, see this little bit right here, and I just chopped that off. It made the tag be a little bit, it's gotten knocked off. See what I mean about when they sit in a stack? because it was in there when I did my video yesterday. Um, so I just walloped this part off right here and that just made my tag a little bit smaller because this was getting all covered up when I put this big tag on top of it. Um, so now that I've spaced this out, I was able to make use of the entire shape of this label. And then here is the darker espresso as opposed to the lighter suede, I do like that better. It gives it a little bit more pop. Now, I do think that if I was paying attention, I would move one of these reds a little further down here. You don't want too much red because you don't want it to compete with your red ribbon. So you don't want to overdo the red, but I think it does need a little bit down here. So usually as, like if you're gonna mass produce your Christmas cards or any card invitations, sometimes we do wedding invitations or shower invitations or wedding thank yous. My daughter often does those for her um, shower gift. She will make the thank yous wedding or shower um, for her friends. So the ten, there's a, a tendency to want to just make your first one and immediately start with the mass production. Don't do that, do the one. And now from this, I can tell this is a little bit better. And now that I've done this second, now I know I move this down here and then you're ready to mass produce. So something like this, you could easily, if you're gonna mass produce it, start setting your stamps up on your stamparatus and you'd fly through these um, super, super quick. So there you go, head to my website. You'll be able to see the supplies that you need. You'll be able to see all of the thank you um, gifts I have for this month. And you'll be able to see um, what's in store for you if you'd like to sign up this month and get a free bundle. This could be the free bundle that you pick and get it in your starter kit at absolutely no charge as part of your starter kit if you join my team. And then you'd always get all of your um, purchases at at, at least 20% off. Everybody have a great day and I'll catch you back here later. Bye.